Welcome back. Now moving towards yield regulation based on volume. We have a very simple method known as von Mantel's formula, which is applicable for the yield method based on volume. You might be acquainted with this triangular diagram, which you might have studied in your forest management course, wherein we maintain different series of age classes and at the 10th rightmost uh, side of the diagram, you see there is III summation of 10 small i's equivalent to i. That is the final increment put on uh, by the entire felling series in the form of the age class which is ready for the harvest. Now, in this formula which is equal to normal growing stock is equal to i into r upon 2 based on a simple formula of a right angle triangle sum of base you know uh, base into altitude upon 2 where i represents the volume of the oldest age gradation and also the total increment of the felling series now this uh, figure you're already acquainted with if we rearrange the figures in this formula you can see we can uh, write it as i is equal to ngs upon r upon 2 again rearranging the figures we have i is equal to 2gs upon r this is known as von mantel's formula and sometimes known as formula of glorious simplicity now what can we reveal from this formula i while rearranging uh, the terms again at the bottom i into r is equal to 2 gs will be replaced by 2 ngs normal growing stock so finally we get ir is equal to because it is 2 ngs we can write gs plus instead of 1 ngs we can write the formula at the beginning i into r upon 2 what do we conclude from here we conclude that i into r means increment over the whole rotation of the felling series is equal to twice the growing stock gs plus gs again which is i into r upon 2 so over the entire lifespan of the forest over the entire rotation of the forest you can take practically or theoretically take increment from that forest which is twice the growing stock whatever growing stock is maintained by the forest you can take twice that uh, growing stock over its rotation in the form of increment which is nothing but you can extract that as the yield if you decide that you're going to take entire increment as yield not part of it which is what we call as von mantel's formula so what are the advantages of von mantel's formula it's easy to apply now in the previous formula you saw that the yield has to be over the entire rotation has to be twice the growing stock so for estimating the yield you only require growing stock and the rotation of the species number two regulates yield according to growing stock now the yield is as the yield is determined on the basis of growing stock if a forest is overstocked you accordingly take the yield which will be a little higher than the normal forest based on the formula and if it's understocked you naturally take the yield which is a little lower than the normal forest moreover this formula the, or this method can be applied only in terms of regular forests which are uniform or even aged but it cannot be used in irregular forests but before we apply any other method to irregular forests this is the best method to get a rough idea as to how much we can extract from any irregular forest so it has an application in irregular forests as well it gives a conservative yield 
in enrichment of growing stock as it doesn't pay attention to any other things so uh, the growing stock uh, is managed or taken care of uh, using a simple formula which when maintained sustainably over the period, period of time leads to enrichment of growing stock now disadvantage of one, one mantles formula uh, there is a term called as actual and normal growing stock what's actually there and what's a normal so based on it doesn't pay attention to actual and normal sometimes the actual growing stock will be overstocked means above normal it will it may be understocked uh, that is sub uh, subnormal it doesn't pay uh, attention to that thing it is inelastic so based on formula whatever the formula gives that much of the yield has to be removed from the forest whatever the formula says doesn't pay any attention to the condition uh, of the forest at a particular place at a particular site in a particular compartment so it's one of the disadvantages it involves complete enumeration as your uh, you know i into r which you can call as yield is has to be uh, estimated based on the growing stock so growing stock has to be enumerated using complete enumeration you have to count each and every tree each and every age class it neglects age class distribution and rate of growth because different uh, age classes put on different increments they have a different rate of growth it presumes that each age class puts on same increment so you know doesn't uh, care about that it uh, gives the final yield because ir is equal to 2gs into i into r upon 2 means it only gives you the final yield it doesn't uh, collect anything from the thinnings now uh, when we assume in this formula that each uh, all age gradations put equal increments which is factually wrong so that is why flurry introduced c in place of 1 by 2 1 by 2 means half of the rotation and he appropriately placed introduced c so that this 1 by 2 may be replaced by 1 by 3 1 by 2 1 by 8 1 by 7 depending on the condition of the forest so this is all about von mantel's formula Th continuing uh, with this uh, this von mantel's formula if we if uh, assume this correct basis to calculate yield then we can uh if derive a different formula known as mason's formula or explo exploitation percent or mason's ratio the increment percent is proportionate to rotation now yield, what is von mantel's formula based on y is equal to 2 gs upon r, r if gs is equal to growing stock is equal to 100 yield becomes 2 in 200 means 200 upon r or 2 upon r percent this is known as exploitation percent or mason's ratio suppose you have an 80 year rotation uh, plantation or forest so how much you should uh, remove uh, as yield from that forest would be using this formula as 200 upon 80 which is equal to 2 and 1/2 percent so for this 80 year rotation you must remove 2 and 1/2% of the area or the volume or using a combination of both from that forest which is a very simple formula this was uh, although uh, von mantel's formula was uh, uh, has uh, been independently developed by uh, mason although the formula has a striking similarity with the one mantel's formula thank you